Amid ongoing tensions with France, Britain has now sent two Navy patrol vessels to the island of Jersey over concerns that French fishermen could block its main port due to their escalating post-Brexit row. French fishermen are expected to converge on the island's main port of St. Helier later today to voice their protest. Authorities, however, said that they do not intend to block access to other vessels in the route. But Johnson announced on Wednesday that he was sending two patrol vessels as a precautionary measure to counter French fishermen's move. The post-Brexit tensions over shared fishing grounds have been simmering in recent weeks. The French government on Tuesday threatened to take retaliatory measures against the UK, claiming that British officials have set new rules for French fishing boats in violation of Brexit agreements. France has also threatened to cut off its power supply to the Channel Islands over the dispute. The island receives nearly 95% of its power supply from France. French fishermen claim they are being prevented from operating in British waters because of difficulties in obtaining licenses. France has accused Jersey government of placing unilateral restrictions on French fishing trawlers. The self-governing island of Jersey is one of the Channel Islands, sitting just 14 miles off the French coast. While not technically part of the United Kingdom, the islands are defended and represented by the UK government internationally. These islands are self-governing dependencies of the British Crown that have their own administrations and elected legislatures. Now, for more on this, we have Stuart Smith joining us live from Brussels. Stuart, how do you see this situation panning out? There are reports that a French flotilla has staged a protest off Jersey in a fishing row some time ago. Can you tell us more about this? Yeah, well, the very latest we're getting from Jersey is that a flotilla of around 60 to 70 fishing vessels, a mixture of trawlers and smaller boats, did come to the port of St. Helia in Jersey and did not go as so far as blockading, but did very much make their presence known with flares and signs and horns blaring. They have since moved away from the entrance of the port. And now we're learning that the Jersey government ministers, uh, the assistant environment minister and the externals relations minister will head out from the port in a boat to discuss more with these French fishermen. COVID-19 restrictions prevent the French fishermen from landing on Jersey and the government ministers heading to France for talks in person. So a rather odd scene with the ministers going out to sea to then uh, talk to the fishermen via radio. But this issue is uh, a consequence of Brexit, which, as you say, Jersey is part of because, although not part of the UK, its foreign affairs are managed by the UK. And the reaction has been very intense with both the French uh, claiming to cut off electricity and the UK sending uh, naval ships. The French have also sent a police maritime patrol vessel, they say purely just to ensure safety while the protest is ongoing. But Jersey has also come out and said, despite the claims of the French government, that they could cut off electricity. Jersey has a backup energy supply and is also with a commercial contract with a French supplier of electricity. So Jersey government not too worried that electricity could be cut off, but it goes to show how seriously both the French and the UK take this issue over fishing rights. It's not a major part of either country's economy, but ideologically significantly important. And these French fishermen saying that uh, 17 vessels have been denied permits to fish in the waters around Jersey because they cannot prove they have a right to be there. The rules set by the UK is that you have to show evidence that you have a historic claim to fishing in the area between 2012 and 2016. 17 boats haven't been able to provide that evidence, so they haven't received the permits. But Jersey says it's willing to look again at the evidence for these boats to fish in Jersey waters, and the French hope that discussions will be what causes ultimately this problem to be resolved. Right. And the French government on Tuesday threatened to take retaliatory measures against the UK. What could those measures entail? 
Yes, well, the uh, protocol of the deal organised between the EU and the UK does have mechanisms for resolving disputes, as any trade deal would. That is meant to be a series of uh, notices, formal warnings, letters, and eventually a court decision, but that can take a long time. And so in the interim, uh, France's seized minister did threaten during a debate that one option, if it came to it, would be to... Uh, cut off the electricity to Jersey. It is an island much closer to France than it is the coast of England, and so it gets its electricity from the mainland of France. Now, that's one extreme. Uh, also, we heard not from France, but from the Eastern Channel Sea, uh, which is a trade body, said they're ready for war. They're ready to bring Jersey to its knees with blockades by fishing boats if this issue isn't resolved. So very strong rhetoric from both sides. However, the trade minister and foreign minister of the UK say they have called their French counterparts and are trying to resolve this without any sort of major escalation.